Hey guys, just a short video today to talk about the settings that I have for recording YouTube videos um, in my home office. Um, the, the goal that I had was to be able to sit down, power everything up, and be able to be recording a video in a matter of a couple minutes. And um, so I was gonna go quickly through my settings and how I have everything configured so that I can uh, kind of hit the ground running. So the camera I'm using is the EOS R6, and um, I also have the R5 and the R8 uh, that are higher megapixel, and so I don't use the R6 as much for photography, so I can keep it pretty much set up on my uh, rolling rig um, to shoot at any time. The 4K in it is awesome. It's oversampled 4K, so it looks really great. Um, the lens I'm using is the old EF 16 to 35 F4. And the reason I, and, and I'm actually shooting at F4. The reason I shoot at F4 is I find that the autofocus is a little bit more reliable um, when I use F4. If I use other lenses that I have that are faster aperture, um, I find that um, I run into issues sometimes with the focus, uh, with losing focus on my face. So in the R6, I'm shooting um, 4K. Um, I'm not using log. I, I shoot log a fair amount when I'm outdoors, but when I'm indoors, um, I find that the, uh, the log footage definitely has a lot more grain. Um, if I shoot with the neutral color profile, which I'm shooting on now, um, I don't have nearly the, uh, the grain, probably because there's, there's denoising going on uh, in camera. And I also did a bunch of testing to see what the uh, color temperature should be. My lights are supposed to be 5600 Kelvin lights. Um, but of course it varies a little bit when you have diffusion on there. And what I found is um, I shoot at 4,800 uh, Kelvin and I think that gives me the best, the best look. So my lights in here are set up on rolling, uh, rolling stands so that I can move them around. Um, and then uh, I can move them around to record video and then I can uh, roll them back against the wall uh, when I'm not recording. And so um, I just find that much more convenient to have them on rolling stands. So the lights I'm using are the Godox uh, UL150 Mark II uh, lights, and they're completely silent. There's no fan. They don't make any fan noise. They run cool. They've got a large metal, metal case, and so they dissipate heat really well. So um, those lights are awesome. Uh, they come with a remote, so I can I can turn my light, lights completely off and back on. Um, I have them dialed in so that um, I know exactly what uh, settings uh, I'm going to shoot with, and so it just takes, like I say, a second to turn them on. Those are also running uh, via uh, V-mount batteries, so they're not plugged in, so, um, you know, my, my cameras, monitors, lights are all run off of V-mount. The only exception to that is the um, practical lights that I have in the back. Um, I have uh, uh, the light that you see right here. That is a um, uh, inexpensive RGB light that I got. It's got barn doors, puts out a ton of light. It runs off of... Um, the Sony NPF batteries. The other light that's, that you can't see here that's, uh, that's aimed at the back wall uh, at, the, at the plant back here, that is a Colbor CL60R, and that's also a RGB light. Um, and so I've got, uh, that one is set to uh, regular daylight um, this light is set to, um, this light is set to orange, and then I've got another little practical light down here that is set to teal, 
also. So that gives a little bit of uh, practical lighting in the background. So for audio, I'm using the DJI uh, wireless mic uh, that's right here. It runs directly into camera. And the nice thing about that is I have all of my, um, uh, all of my audio levels dialed in. So I don't have to do any uh, syncing of sound in post. Uh, I do have to tweak the audio a little bit because the DJI uh, wireless mic is not perfect sound. Uh, there's a little bit of muddiness to it. So I try to clean that up a little bit. But otherwise, you know, they, they, come, they have this battery case uh, for the DJI mics. So anytime I sit down to record, everything's fully charged. All I have to do is uh, plug the receiver into my camera, uh, put the mic on, and I'm ready to go. So the reason for this video is just to show the settings that I've come up with to use for my home YouTube studio. Over the course of a number of weeks, I had tried uh, different lenses, different apertures, uh, different lighting setups, and, uh, and also different microphones and sound options. And this is what I came up with that I liked the best. This allows me to sit down and start recording um, within just a matter of minutes and uh, it removes the barriers to sitting down and recording video and I am really bad about that. I will find a million reasons not to do video. Well, I've just removed one of those reasons is all of my settings are set, I use the same settings each time, and I'm happy with the results. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.